Hey everyone, let's play some games. I'm still playing the next version of the Aqua Rope. Now, let's see what we get. We have another rogue. Pretty good rank. Can be a fair battle. Let's see. Hmm. Not really super hot on any of these cards, to be honest. I mean, it could be another Aqua Rogue. So actually, I think I'm going to keep the Blood Knight just because of that. And the Knife Jack is a decent turn to drop, but I prefer the Haunted Creeper. Okay, now we have some one drops, including the Argent Squire. So if he doesn't take off the shield, I can do that. All right, respectable hand. Thing is, though, he most likely will dagger up and remove the shield, which is a bit of a shame. I could coin out the knife juggler instead and then play Argent Squire Lebano next turn. And just hope he doesn't have a backstab. So many options. Hmm, do I want to try that? If I don't do that, I mean, he will always have that back stuff for the knife juggler. Let's just go for it. Then maybe later on I can get the Blood Knight on the Argent Squire. Like, if next turn I play the Argent Squire in the Lebanon, I'm more likely that the shield will stay up for turn 3. Alright, no backstab, please. Alright, we dodged it. So let's do this. And get five damage in. Things worked out. Fan of knives would be unfortunate. Hmm, because he could almost clear the board. Wait. Oh, he just drew the backstab. Well, lucky for me, he didn't have it before. Un unfortunately, he is able to get rid of the shield. Hmm. Much. A real shame. Let's see. I think I'm still gonna play the Blood Knight because this is obviously a Miracle Rope. And I already used one of my Artyan Squires. The chance of drawing a second one is decent, but I would rather save the SI7's battle cry for later. And just play the Blood Knight now. He dodged the bullet there by getting the shield off. Still got 9 damage in on him. Which I'm happy to see. I have a cold blood and a viscerate. I just need a bit more damage to finish him off. Let's see. Art and Squire. Well, okay. <laughs> I couldn't have known that though. Alright, let's just do this and then we'll back up, kill that. Cold blood on that so we can get a lot of damage in. Getting very close to lethal here. I have the Eviscerate, I have the SI7, that's basically 6 damage in the hand. If I can just get pretty much any kind of damage source here. Well, he could also heal up a bit. Let's see. Hopefully he doesn't have like a good auctioneer with double prep now. Ready to go. Let's see. Ah, uh, Blade Flurry, I suspect. Shadow Step. Mm. Well, this hand is not great at all. In fact, it is pretty terrible. Mm, so it would be awesome if I get any kind of Charger, like Arcane Golem or the Leroy. So many options. So, how do I approach this? Okay, I think I'll do this. Play the SS7, and then re dagger up. I could play the Eviscerate here, but I might... This way I can get more damage in long term, since I don't think I will be strapped for mana next turn. So I should be able to just play the Eviscerate then.
Oh, so close. Let's see, does he have the backstab? Unfortunate. Come on, Leroy. Oh, I can call him. Both would do it. Blood mage, not optimal. But not the worst either, since I can get like a big eviscerate and get him down to 6 life. So now even if I get the the 2 1 charger, I can shadow step it for 4 damage, 1 extra damage on the dagger, that's 5. Almost there. And if he doesn't sap the blood mage. I get two cards next turn. Alright. And it even got to do a damage. Okay, Leroy. Alright. Looks like I win then. Yeah, you can heal. Let's see. Even if he... Well, if double heals, he gets to 14. Okay. Good. So, let's do this. Shadow step. And we win. Alright, let's see what we get next. Hopefully we can continue the success and climb up to top 100. I definitely think this deck is very capable and it's probably gonna be my serious deck for the rest of this week. I'll probably try out some other decks but this is the try hard deck. Alright, two Argent Squires and a Blood Knight. Hmm. Should I just keep it all? Maybe try for a 2 drop? No. Well, I can obviously that turn 1. No, let's just keep it all. 2 Argent Squires and a Blood Knight. So even... Yeah, okay. Oh, and if he doesn't... Yeah, this could end up very good. Not very bad. <laughs> I'll have to wait and see. And the ruby and egg. Okay, that's fine. I'll just do the light this. Light. See who can kill each other first. It's funny. I mean, most Sue don't run silences, so if I can steal both shields and get a 9 9, that would be pretty amazing. Ah, well, unfortunately, he has the wolf. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised here. I do need to take out that. So... I fight. I guess that's fair. I'll get rid of the egg there. Let's just make a... 6-6. Six, six. And attack for another damage. What a start. Like, we're both having crazy things going here. It's only turn 3. Okay. Alright, so how are we gonna handle this? Fan of Knives? Mm, doesn't help that much here. I mean, I could Fan of Knives and then attack that, then kill it off that. But I think... Better choice is kill that with the blood knight. So many then run that and daggers into the knife juggler. I can't let the knife juggler live. It's not acceptable. So we'll do this. Take a little bit of damage, but we are equal life. I'm okay with that. I have a fan of knights coming up, coming up, so hopefully he'll play a lot of small minions here. More coil. Oh, Elven Archer. That's actually great, because now I can kill it with fan of knights. 
Uh, let's see. I can clear the board here. I can run that into that. Dagger that. Fan of knives. Haunted creeper. But let's draw cards first. So we do that. Wow. Could even save the fan of knives, but no, I need to use it now. So I'll do that. Leroy could be very helpful soon. Oh. Kill that. Get the haunted creeper. We have two big charges here. I'm actually glad I have the blood mage because I'm a bit low on cards. Uh, alright, okay, so he's kind of just going for the face. Huh. That's 10 damage. I need some more than that. I think I'll just kind of like raise him here. Get some bananas. I mean, he might just attack the Mugler here. If he does that, I might try to finish off the Doomguard. We'll see. If he goes face, I have 17 damage already. If I get like a... Oh, okay. That's one more damage. I mean, two more damage off. Huh. Well, I'm not sure about this game. Could definitely go either way. We'll have to see. Get in there and fight, maggot. Okay, it looks like he's probably going to go face with it then. Nine nine this turn. Grand, it'll be only be a seven nine after this, but that is kind of scary. Oh, so how do I do this? I think I'll try and get some knives. With the knives. Wait, what am I talking about? <laughs> I didn't get any knives. That was actually a pretty huge mistake, I think. Uh, but let's see here. Do that. What was I thinking? Like, I was just thinking this would die, but it only had one attack. That was so silly of me. Hmm. Kill the knife checker. Blade Flurry. Hmm, I've only had a deadly poison. But I can... Leroy... Blade Flurry. I can run down it to that. So we'll do this. Blade Flurry. Run that into that. New dagger. Alright. Looking decent here. I mean, he'll probably trade that into that. I have my Arcane Garden. He life taps down to six. My shield for okay, not what I wanted to see. But there's so many things I can draw here. Let's see, what's his last card? Is it something he can play or? I wonder if it's like a soul fire. And he's like, should I soul fire something? Should I soul fire the face or a spectral spider? Right. Okay, he chooses a spider. That's probably a good idea. I think I would probably have done the same, but I believe I have lethal here. Yeah, this guy's toast. Do that. Alright, a bit embarrassing about that whole spider business, but I still won. 
All right, let's see what we get next. Moving up. And we have Android. All right. I must protect the one. Uh, definitely keeping that. I just love this card. Fan of knives, not really needed versus druid, unless it's token, but can't really. Looking for one drop here to go with my two drop. Okay, this is a very solid hand. I could even coin into the SI7 if he plays a minion. So let's start out with that. I mean, if he doesn't play a minion, I'll play the Haunted Creeper. And then the next turn I can do Lebanon Coin as a 7. Colette Oracle could be super useful later on. Now. Knife Juggler. <laughs> now I could get all those knives that I talked about. I mean, I can get three knives. Hmm. If I can get the knives to hit, it would be really good. Okay, so, but I think the safer play instead of relying on r and would be... To just do this. Ha, this guy's toast. I fight. Ah, I guess I, I should fight. get rid of it entirely. Problem is now I'm actually extremely weak to swipe. That's a bit unfortunate, actually. Oh, such a perfect swipe board. Not happy about that. At least. That would get one of the swipes out of the way. Right. Hmm. Alright. Well, I could play those two, or I could play the coal light. The problem is, if I play the coal light, I kind of relying on getting a one drop, so I think I would rather do this. Just to use all my mana. Okay, happy that that's alive. So let's play the cold light, get some cards. Oh, I even get a knife, let's see. Oh, very nice. Then I can do this. Get some more damage in. Now if he plays a Sunwalker, I can steal the shield. That would actually be pretty nice. Ah, too bad. Let's see what we draw. Fan of the knives. Not really optimal here. Loot holder, that's a lot better. So how do I want to kill that? Well, I could see... Can I hit it with some knives? Yeah, I kind of need to hit it with two knives. Hmm. Okay, let's play this. Come on, hit. And... This. Alright. If I hit it with a third knife, that would be even more awesome. Because then I can just trade with the 2-2. Two -two. Ah, okay. Well... Goodbye, knife jacker. You did good work. Trading a knife juggler for a Tsustinko is it's pretty good. And now I'm actually happy that he used that one swipe since I have a full board again. It's just too bad he's not playing those Sunwalkers. I wonder if he has one coming up. Well, let's trade here. 
another cold light. Yeah, let's draw some cards. Leroy could definitely be useful later. Uh, so how do I want to deal with this? Hmm. Do I want to so many options. dagger up? Do I want to just cold blood on maybe the spider? And then do that. Hope he doesn't have that second swipe. I mean, I'm getting very close to lethal here also, so... And if he does play a Sunwalker finally, I can have that Blood Knight for it. I still haven't drawn my sap either. Or Shadow Steps. I could use the Shadow Step for Leroy or a Cold Light. Depends if he gets an Ancient of War up or not. Sunwalker is definitely what I want to see though. I could get rid of that easily. I have no time for games. Shivanas. Shields up. Oh, I see. A taunt. Hmm. Wow, I'm so close to lethal actually. Wow, if I had a sap right now, it would be so good. Uh, I could fan of knives and see if I get a sap. Hmm. Could also play a blood knight here, get a 6-6 six, six up. But the thing is, I should probably kill that first before I do that. So let's, um, I can do, I would want to do that and that. That's 6 mana. I have two mana left over. It's a bit... Not great. Let's do it that way. Here we go. Oh, that's perfect. And then let's play... Blood Knight. I think we just go all in here since we are so close to lethal. Let's see here. If he gets the combo, he can do 21 damage. So I'm still good. I have a Leroy in hand. Pretty scary ball. I have my daggers. I even have some card draw in case I need to look for something. So he basically needs to clear the board and get it toned up. Because if you place an Ancient of War, I can probably just get rid of it. I did get very lucky. He stole the Spectral Spider, but honestly all my minions were not that great. Even if he had stolen I the Arjun Squire, I would still just have stolen the shield, so... It would not have been so bad. Let's see, does he have a Sun Fairy Protector to try and... No, okay. It's gonna be an easy kill. Just Leroy and Dagger. Do that. And that. And that's how the cookie crumples. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.